the last time we see Sam and Bucky is after Steve leaves the shield with Sam. Sam is coming to terms with what it's going to be to pick up that shield. And that's where we kick off the show. The legacy of that shield is complicated. When Disney Plus was announced, there was an opportunity to interweave the cinematic universe with the television universe. The world of the Falcon and Winter Soldier in the films is so big, and you want this show to feel as big and as engrossing. I think fans will definitely get a kick out of seeing the continuation of that kind of filmmaking that those movies had. Sam, this has to be subtle. Got it. The action side is so embedded in what the MCU is, but through the show, we wanted to look at the human side of the characters. For Bucky, it's the legacy of the Winter Soldier. His anchor point to the person who knew him before he was a murder machine no longer exists. So Bucky feels unmoored in the series and is looking for his purpose. And Sam Wilson is very much doing the same thing. When Steve first told me about the shield, the first words I said were, feels like it's someone else's. I felt like we would be dishonest just on a human level if we had this black man just accept the symbol without having real ambivalence about it. With this series, we've been able to give a level of sincerity and humanity to him. You get a real sense of what this character, Sam Wilson, really is. The notion of what blackness means in America ties very much into Sam's journey through the events of the show. There's a fight out there, and then there's our fight here. And bro, you have taken them both on. Well, let's get to work. The scope of these six episodes is really amazing. I mean, it's a huge story. Falcon and Winter Soldier are really vibrant and electric characters. So when you are thrust into the action, you sink into the narrative and where the story ultimately goes.